and welcome to Scottish Car Enthusiasts and Trains TV and to part 12 of our Bring Back Max Powers series where we are taking a look at the September 2005 edition of Max Power magazine. So why are we bringing back Max Power? Well in just a few days time we'll be heading back to the Max Power reunion show at the Staffordshire County Showground. If you want to know more about the Max Power Reunion Show, then check out the Max Power Reunion Show website, Facebook page and Instagram page. But why not grab a brew and we'll have a wee look at the September 2005 edition of Max Power magazine. And we kick off with how to install a PS2 into your car. So this is Slim Fast Plan. In-car gaming has been revolutionised with the introduction of a slick new power adapter. To celebrate, we'll tell you how to fit a gaming system in double quick time. So Max Power are going to use the brand new Big Cat PS2 auto adapter to install a slimline PS2. The Big Cat uses the latest least current, stops your battery going flat and we like its 12 volt power output for powering up our screens. Max Power recommend uh, mounting the PS2 in the boot or glove box so it's out of sight of twalkers. With the robot switching you won't have to clamber into the boot to switch it on. Though you will need to in order to swap discs. So your glove box could be a better option. You now need to access the 12 volt power for the adapter to run your PS2. Decide if you want to use the PS2 when the ignition is off or whether you'd rather use a switched ignition source, one that supplies 12 volt when the ignition is on. Don't forget if you hook up to a permanent 12 volt you'll continuously draw a current on the battery. And you may need to disconnect the system if you leave the car for long periods of time. So fitting the auto adapter, um, mounting the power button. This button remotely turns on the PS2 without you having to go into the boot or glove box. You'll need to mount the illuminating button somewhere on or around your dash area so you can flick it easily. Drill a 14mm hole in your chosen location, feed the wiring through and slide the switch into the hole. From behind, spin on the supplied nut and tighten it up. Plug the wiring into the plug hole marked REM on the back of the auto adapter. This is your power adapter here. And your power plug. And there's some accessories for your... Um, PS2, so you've got cordless controller, DVD remote, mains PS2 power pack and 12 volt power wires. Then we have an advert for icebuyer.com, double page spread, so specialists in Alpine, JVC, Kenwood, Pioneer, Sony, Clarion. Subwoofers and components, power caps, 6x9 speakers, active boxes and tubes, iPod CD changer interface. Then we have an advert for bassjunkies.com, again Pioneer, Kenwood, Panasonic, Alpine, Sony, JVC, Impulse, Spider. Stealth, Toxic Twister. Then we move into our next feature car, which is a Ford Focus um, Mark I ZTEC. The management of full juice says this is how to modify a Focus. Modify a focus. We ain't going to argue. So this focus is wearing a Jap style kit. 
It's got stuff with front bumper, ultimate sides, and custom rear bumper with a Peugeot 206 fog light. I'm going to get the nod quicker than a 16 year old schoolgirl in a window bra. Apologise for the light. We'll see if we can get that out. That's a bit better. So you can see the 26 fog light in the bumper there. If our exhausts are too loud and you replace them with two tin twin pipes that catch water and start rusting, that ain't our problem. Fit a pair of oval pipes that come out of your custom rear bumper. If Big Phil wants to tell us how to modify a focus, we'll hold our hands up and listen. This has got the 1.6 ZTEC. The panel is the same as a Fiesta ZTEC S lump, so a turbo conversion should be on on the cards. There are some annoying, annoying, little differences. So to make sure you can still put up a good fight, get a Wizards of Noz 50 bhp shot of nitrous. When you have your VIP lounge, you need full luxury two-color levers. Seats and high quality Momo fitments, an Alpine amp and two 12 inch subs are also a must or you'll not even get a nod from the tunes coming from a Pioneer hedge in it. Make it tidy in the boot too. Then we have an advert for Fly. Opt for 19 inch Dare V4 rims for, a sim for assured entry into Club Cool. Now this focus takes me back because this is the colour of focus I had. I think it's called Pacific Green. And drinking up, we don't like louts around here, we like civilised drinkers. So move your filler cap inside the boot. Fill it up from there, it's not difficult. So let's focus on the tech spec of this um, focus. No pun intended. It's powered by a 1596cc 4 cylinder 16 valve with a KN filter, FAC power boost valve, uprated iridium spark plugs, fusion fabrication, stainless steel tanks, and other dress up parts, a Rus Motorsport silicon hose, Wizards of Noz 50 bhp shot of nitrous, it's got a decap pipe, powerful stainless steel duplex exhaust. Factory 5 speed manual. Suspension wise, it's been lowered on coney, sh coney shocks and 40mm springs all round. Now, where were we? Oh, yes, that's correct. Um, we're at um, brakes, drilled and grooved discs, uprated pads up front, Puma build rear disc conversion with uprated pads. Wheels and tyres, 7. Point 5 by 19 inch Dare V4 alloys with painted centres. 215 slash 3519 Pirelli PZ P0 tyres. Bodywork has got the stuff or WRC front bumper with floor splitter. Twin headlight conversion with painted sections. Carbon fibre bonnet, ultra side skirts. One off rear bumper. Uh, WRC boot spoiler with custom stainless struts, black projector rear lights, de-locked door handles, front wing vent, relocated fuel cap, Peugeot 206 rear fog light and tear rear bumper. Interior has got the full lever retrim, Momo Millennium steering wheel, Momo gear knob, full fusion polished roll cage, white dials, Ford racing gauges. Ice-wise, it's got a custom boot install, trimmed in leather, polished Wizards of Noz nitrous bottle, Alpine V12 amp, two Alpine 12-inch subs, JBL P93 6x9s in shelf and front doors, Pioneer CD head unit. Max power, 120 brake horsepower plus a 50 bhp nitrous, max speed of 120, and 0 to 60 in 9 seconds. And I think that'll be it for this part of Bring Back Max Power. It's a bit of a shorter part, but 
but we'll be back very soon with another part of um, Bring Back Max Power, where we continue to look at the September 2005 edition of Max Power magazine. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe at Scottish Car Enthusiasts and Trains TV. Check out the Max Power Reunion Show website, Facebook page and Instagram page if you're still keen to go to the Max Power Reunion Show, which happens on the 14th of July. Thank you.